So every day I do a little survey. I call it the daily-ish. Uh, link to the video about it in the show notes. When I did that demo, I skipped over part of it because it was new, and now I want to come back to it because I've had some time with it. And that's my traits. So I came back from a trip back in September, and I felt like I was generally doing okay. Right? My anxiety was okay, my moods were okay, my general day quality was okay, but I wasn't... Being okay wasn't enough. I wasn't acting in a way that I wanted to be. So I thought, well, what does that mean? How would I find out? So I cooked up traits. And this is basically my character sheet. So every day when I do the survey, I have 12 traits and I map them on a scale of one to 10. The default is five. And if it is better, then it is higher. If it is worse, then it is lower. But we don't start at one, we start at five. And part of the exercise in this was understanding what aspects of my life and values were really important to me and what those mean to me and what it meant to practice those values. So I can, at the end of my day, look at those and go, okay, how well did I embody these today? Not just did I have a good day, but did I practice the things that are important to me today? So I had to write a whole post defining each one of these things. Energy is my physical get up and go. Courage is my ability to face conflict. Creativity is pretty self-explanatory. Diligence is how well I do at work and how focused and committed I am in my, in my work life. Patience is how much patience I have, not just with other people, but with myself. And love is the same thing, right? Not just how much do I practice love, but do I let myself be loved? And love is distinct from romance and joy. Kindness is practicing compassion and making sure that I enjoy the fruits of that as well. I had to write in my kindness entry that one of the important things is learning how to take compliments. Solidarity is an abstract thing about how well I embrace the struggles of the people in my life. Leadership is how I acknowledge my responsibilities, both at work and elsewhere. And ambition is my general zest to tackle my to-do list that day. And this is just what works for me. I haven't edited them yet, so this was my first go, but there are 12, and every day they get a number. And because every day they get a number, you can graph it. So the daily ish, of course, like every Google form, has a spreadsheet that accompanies it. And because there's a spreadsheet, you can pull those numbers. And because you can pull those numbers, you can build graphs. So here are my radial graphs on how I'm doing. And I can literally look at this and see a physical representation of where I think I'm at with regard to each one of these things over time. What this lets me do is find out what I wanna work on and find the language to articulate my feelings. I don't think the goal is to get everything to a 10. I think that that's a bit much, but I don't think a six is unreasonable. And if I feel like something is falling below five, I can spot that and start making corrections and think about what I need to do if that's really important. The goal of this is not to become some kind of messianic superhuman. The goal is to make sure that I'm not just doing stuff, I'm doing stuff that matters to me. So with this graph, I can see the shape of my concern. Well, my patience over the week, a little lower. Everybody's patience, a bit taxed right now. Over the month, kind of averages out. Since I've been doing it, it's basically a circle, but it's a circle that's sitting mostly below six. And this puts me in a position to make a decision about what I want to do about that. Rather than not knowing, or rather than having a sort of weird feeling of dissatisfaction, I can look at it and I can say, this is a thing I want to work on, and these are the things I want to do. Lessons I have learned from therapy, apart from build weird data models to help you understand yourself, you can't do anything about a bad feeling that you have until you understand what it is and understand what you want. You don't even really need to understand why it's happening, though it does help. The daily-ish and my character sheet here are part of my commitment to learning about myself and expressing myself in my life. It's a little weird, but I also am really enjoying it and it makes me feel better. 
It reminds me that when I feel like I don't have any creative days, I definitely do. They're on a graph. I reported that. It's a weird life, but we're going to get there together. Stay awesome.